All right, folks, welcome on back here this Tuesday afternoon, October 27th, shortly after 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Welcome on back here for our afternoon meeting. Perfect. Great to see the whole team with us here live in the Cyber Group Trading Room. Norman, Greg, Michael, Lori, great to see you all. Wayne, Donnie, Jose, Jim, Ron, you guys are coming in too fast. I'd love to see that, though, loud and clear from all. And welcome on back, as always, for anybody tuning in on social media, Facebook Live and YouTube. So... Without further ado, we ended up seeing at least a nice push up early within the market. We ended up seeing a few stocks move up pretty nicely at first, but now as you can see the Dow beginning to dump back down heading into the afternoon, making a similar type of move compared to what we had had just about 24 hours ago from, from here. So, you know, going into today, guys, at least this afternoon, Neo will put it up on the screen. Ended up making a nice push. I mean, as soon as the market opened up, it took a little while for the market to make that little bounce. But whereas Neo ended up breaking out shortly after the market opened up, it just kept going. So really, I'll kind of just zip through this trade pretty quickly. Uh, as soon as the market opened up, and I say that really because for any one of us inside the trading room, we didn't really go over this trade inside our Traders Talk workshop. We ended up going over a trade from yesterday. So, you know, really quickly, just to analyze this position, the uh, Neo stock. You know, it's one that we follow pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. But once the market opened up, the opening bell print was right off of $26.25. So it has some coiling up to do within the first five minutes. But once it ended up breaking above that, and also I think at the time there was an order on the ask, it was right before the pop. It was right off 26.30. So 26.25, 26.30. Once it final, finally cleared over those price levels, it took off. You can see the volume spike that came in off the pop from uh, 26.30, moved up pretty nicely from that point. But man, this just shot up like a rocket, ended up blasting right through 27. I don't think it's ever even pulled back to 27 once today. It broke over 27. I was looking for a short on this, actually, believe it or not. I, didn't, I did not go short at the time, but blasted right over 27. I was looking for a quick false breakout, but... Man, this just kept ripping up and to the point where it never really even pulled back down to 27 as a major support. So heading into this afternoon for Tuesday, I mean, it's on the way up to 28. So, you know, we're going to put this right on the top of our list heading into the uh, afternoon. Should be needless to be said. But of course, with this, uh, you know, trade on our screen to begin, we'll just put this on the uh, watch list here. All right, cool. So guys, with that in mind, for all of us uh, inside the trading room, at least we do have Fausto's phase three stock course coming up this afternoon, right at three o'clock. Uh, it's what he likes to call the advanced class, getting the man, you know, getting to see the man himself trade the market close, feeding right off the uh, afternoon watch list that we have here or that we will have here. So let's go right from top to bottom. The SRRK here just to begin. Um, I didn't see the news on this. I didn't care to look. I was just going to copy and paste going into this meeting. So uh, SRRK Scholar Rock announces proof of concept data, phase two trial interim analysis, you know, muscular atrophy. All right. So we ended up seeing a massive pop on this very similar to NEO. I mean, pretty much as soon as the market opened up, I mean, it took me by surprise. I wasn't as focused on this trade, at least leading into 930 myself. But uh, here, I'm going to copy and paste the news for anybody tuning in on social media now. There you go. So, you know, this trade, more or less, we ended up seeing SRRK just grind on up throughout the day. Beautiful trend off the lows. And whereas it was beginning to make a rounded top, peaking at around 25 or so, man, we saw this break higher and just kept going. So heading into the afternoon, the early parts of it, at least here, we were looking for this to actually squeeze up and over 31, ended up pulling right back down below it. I was playing on this more as a short, and I got in a little late, I guess, in relation to the pop off the high, but I was looking for a short under 30. It took so freaking long to get this drop off. So I'll tell you, I took a six cent loss. Believe it or not, this stock is easy to borrow. On the short side, I reversed my position right before this pop. I was able to eke out like 80 or 84 cents. But man, this just dropped off right away after I missed out on the short. I was a little nervous about this jumping up and around here at the time. Now, when I say going short, doesn't mean that I was looking to short this all throughout the afternoon. I mean, this was really strong here at the time. Took a while for this to begin to break. Um, as, as I'd said, I, I didn't take this short, unfortunately. I was a little, a little scared about it. So I ended up moving on to another trade. I come back and, of course, it makes the big drop off without me. Uh, but even from that point, has kind of based off at around 28, pushing back up here right now over 29. Uh, 30 is the bigger level to watch. I was expecting to see you know this to hold a lot better 
uh, underneath 30 at the time. It's held underneath it so far here off the last little kiss up to it. So heading into the afternoon, yeah, I mean, it's extremely volatile, extremely active, trading about 41 and a half million shares at this point in the day. Uh, but yeah, SRRK will just put on the top of our list alongside NEO. Definitely more of a level five stock. Looking at the spread or lack thereof, or not even to say lack there, lack lack of liquidity really on the book. You know, a lot smaller orders on the bid and the ask on the right hand side of my screen. Spread out orders, so the spread's going to fluctuate. A couple of pennies here or there, but then right here you can see opening up a lot more. Try and focus on, on stocks that have at least more filled in order books. This WEI would be that. Uh, hopefully this ends up making a new run heading into the afternoon. We, we follow this more so after Traders Talk, our weekly workshop. So for all of us inside the trading room, that should be uh, at least posted on your student dashboard later on this evening. But, you know, nonetheless, WEI kind of in the middle of Traders Talk right around 1130 Eastern broke higher. And thankfully, we were able to catch at least one more leg up heading into the early afternoon as it pushed up towards three. Uh, had a tough time clearing higher from three, as you could see. So it pulled back and, you know, still very active heading into the afternoon right we we followed the stock i don't think it was was it a week ago even yeah it was i was gonna say a couple weeks back but uh pretty much just this time last week on the 20th right exactly seven days ago <laughs> i don't know if it's tuesdays in this stock or what but man we ended up seeing this make a huge pop just last tuesday from 85 cents all the way up to 550 now what happened after dumped back down so you know just be careful if it's not breaking higher I wouldn't expect this to just flatten out in a five or 10 cent range. So if it's not breaking higher, I would only expect for there, for there to be really just one other direction for this to move to. All right, naked NAKD, nice pop, it's a cheapie. Let's see if there's just anything over a buck here otherwise. A G-O-E-D, popped at the open, but dumped off right after. All right, well, that will take us right to the middle of this list. We'll kind of just skim through here pretty fast. I know that Fausto is in the classroom right now getting ready for the phase three course, so I don't want to go too long right before we uh, go into class. Harley Davidson off earnings. Nice pop. I mean, I feel like these earnings plays of late have been crazy with Snapchat, with uh, Harley Davidson recently here today. Um, I'll tell you even one more, I think. I got to double check this so I could be wrong. But I, I could have sworn AMD was going to be reporting earnings after the bell today. I, I know the news came out with them buying XLNX early this morning. So I don't know if they ended up advance uh, releasing those numbers. But I had them on my earnings calendar today, too, for, for after the bell. So it would be pretty crazy if that happens. And we'll see an even sharper move from AMD going into tomorrow. But more or less getting back to the uh, Harley Davidson trade there. Just referring to the uh, new wave of earnings coming out, guys. Just keep a good eye on what's ahead for this week. Uh, for all of us inside the trading room, uh, I'll post what's ahead going into uh, this afternoon and going into tomorrow morning. All right. But yeah, for right now, Harley Davidson, obviously, it's stopped on its way up, pulling back a bit further here into the afternoon. It is shortable. Uh, we'll kind of see if there's anything else looking a bit better on the way up first, but I guess still could be in play. K or CASI was holding pretty nicely here. Uh, just volume died off, and that's pretty much it. If there's anything that you folks see that looks good, let me know. Type it in the chat boards. Uh, PLTR. I was going to jump to this. This is a familiar name. We followed this stock off its IPO back from late September, it was. The very end of September. Yeah. Uh, but hey, I mean, for as much as it ended up dumping off here, I took my eyes off it. I mean, to the point where I took it off my uh, today, ended up running up, missed the move, at least going into the uh, morning, popped up into the afternoon. We called it out from here, but I haven't been following up on it as much up until right now, at least. So, you know, hey, it's running right to where we would want it to see it run at this point. So PLTR looking great. Definitely more of a level like one to two stock, a very liquid order book, consistently tight spread. So if we're kind of comparing apples and oranges here with SRRK and PLTR for a newly enrolled student for you know a trial member that's looking to follow just the volume a bit better. You're gonna have an easier time reacting to said volume on a stock like PLTR, on a stock like, I mean, NEO is pretty volatile, but that at least has a more liquid order book. But yeah, this one's looking fantastic here. All right, 
So with that, let's hop over to the losers list. This one's looking really good. I'm sure Faust will have some fun with you guys on this trade heading into the afternoon. Uh, Cat B, how about this? Breaking all-time lows, if I'm not mistaken. It's like pretty much right at the all-time lows. I'm going to put this on our watch list, folks. It's a little close to the ground floor, as I would say, zero. It is shortable, surprisingly enough, for those of us with Trade Station. Easy to borrow. Uh, 160 seems to be support here after that 150. Uh, but again, we'll re we could play this both ways. I'm expecting more of a drop here at this point with it down near the lows heading into the afternoon. But if we happen to see it make a false break down, perhaps the shorts will cover and we'll see a sharper move back up. I mean, personally, this morning, that's what I was expecting. But as soon as the market opened up, it ended up just dropping. <laughs> it just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. Never really set itself up for a great buying opportunity afterwards. So I don't know if Fausto is going to focus on this one exactly with you guys here heading into phase three class. It might be more on the PLTR, but this one still catches my eye, at least for the afternoon. Uh, this one's also shortable, making a steadier drop a little bit further away from uh, the ground floor, as I had said before, right? Uh, this one's pretty pretty interesting also. Kala, K-A-L-A. -A. Looks like an order on the bid off $6.25. About 12,000 shares. This one also is shortable. BVXV. This stock was down like 85% a couple days ago. Still dropping off. I mean, I've had this on my side list. I looked at it early this morning, just didn't really offer me anything, so I had to move on. But I still keep this in mind. I mean, perhaps, hopefully, you know, at some point. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really, it's not really great swing trading uh, advice, right? I mean, but I'll keep it on, you know, a piece of paper here. I'll check in on it every morning. If I see a buying opportunity or more activity in pre-market one given morning, then, hey, I'll focus on it from there. Got to figure at some point we'll see a squeeze on a trade like this. There's Jinko Solar dropping off. I mean, we were more focused on this trade as a swing, but I mean, even this dropping off steadily into the afternoon, the spread will be a bit fluctuating on this. I mean, much like you saw on the uh, SRRK stock, but I mean, for right now, given the activity, I mean, we'll put this on our main list. Check, I think also dropped off earlier today from earnings, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing a whole lot here. All right, folks, if there's anything else, let me know. Type it in the uh, Cybergroup Trading Room screen here, or at least on the uh, social media feeds, Facebook Live, YouTube. Oh, speaking of stocks that dropped off quite a bit, I mean, the AKBA stock we are talking about just before with uh, BVXV. Look at this gap on the daily charts. So it took a long while to get the gears going even for this, but we were able to follow this across the last few weeks, or at least uh, a couple weeks ago, rather. Michael says, and... and, and uh, or at least he says he's showing AMD after the bell today. That's right. But I ended up seeing the, the report come out this morning, Mike, though. So it, it confused the hell out of me. So we'll figure it out at least after this meeting. FNKO worth watching from Jerry. Big volume spike, or at least in relation to what it's been trading today, yes. But pretty skimpy on volume total across the day. A little less than... Uh, what it normally does on an average there even so not as interested in this one just yet jerry i mean good call based on the pop but a little light on the volume for right now and then rjf on youtube saying wei big resistance at 268 yeah forty nine thousand share order on the ask so i mean hey from the last time that we touched base with this stock which was pretty much right once we started the meeting it's been inching up a little bit and at least now we have a a, a level to identify as, as resistance, 268, good call. So hey, WEI, I'll slip on the uh, list here at the end. All right, cool, folks. I, I think that just about does it. So, you know, for all of us tuning in on social media, as always, make sure that you guys like, like, subscribe, and notify right on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash cybertradingu. Uh, for all of us inside the trading room, how about this little teaser? I have something in the works across the next couple of weeks. So uh, I'm sure I will announce it just in this afternoon, meet, af afternoon meeting. So for all of us on social media, if you'd like to take part yourself, you'll have to join us inside the trading room for it. It'll be exclusive to all of us inside the cyber group room. But I have a, a couple of things in mind i think a, a fun nice little competition ahead so i look forward to announcing it soon i'll keep you guys well informed for all of us inside the trading room at least uh we're going to post and tweet the pics we'll post and tweet the link for uh, class coming up shortly after all right so um, i look forward to seeing you guys in class take care